Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening all. We are from Group 7 and today we would like to present our report to you guys. My name is Nasrullah Anugrah Mimtahul Karim and my metric number is 274X7 and 3. The state of the banking industry in Malaysia has changed significantly over this time. This transformation is not solely due to the internal banking advance, but also to the influence of external developments such as economy, politics, law, and society. A bank is deemed to be good if it also performs well. When evaluating a bank's performance, it must adhere to the requirements that set by the bank government Malaysia. We will use the K ratio in banking to measure the bank performance so we can forecasting the future situation and developing a plan of action that will affect the bank financial performance in the future. Our group chose three commercial banks that are already well known to the Malaysians and have a lengthy history in the Malaysian banking industry, namely Public Bank, Maybank, and RHB Bank. The three banks were also ranked as the top four largest bank in Malaysia. The ability of the three banks to attract deposit from businesses and consumers implies the confidence level of the public in the banks. The purpose of the study itself is to evaluate various areas of the financial statements of the three banks over the last five years from 2016 and 2020, which will be utilized to make bank financial decisions. Comparing financial statements over the time prevails the three institution decision making characteristics and patterns. We will also be able to evaluate the plans for corporate decisions that the bank must make. Every excellent plan must be tied to the bank current state, which we can see from an examination of each bank's financial performance. Hello everyone, uh, in here my part I want to introduce the part of company background and objective. And my name is Erika Sari, uh, Erika Sari with matric 27.7192. Okay, we move to the next slide. Okay, in here we have the company background. The company background we have means three banks. And the first bank we have the public bank. Public bank have the Tan Tridato Sri Dr. T. Haupiao, the bank founder and chairman for my public bank in 1966. And according to data published on the Bursa Malaysia, main in 1967, public bank company in the Malaysia third largest banking group. We can earn um, 363.76 million in asset and a market value of um, 71.19 million on the end of 2019. Then my bank, or Malayan Bank in their heart, we were the fifth in 1960 is Malaysia largest financial service from with significant appreciation to uh, South of Asia, insurance, asset management, stockbroking, nominate service, better capital learning, and internet banking are among the services offered at the bank. The third bank we have the uh, FHB Bank, RHB Bank Berhad, is a bank Malaysia in based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. He specialist in trade banking, corporate banking, investment banking, and international banking service. The bank was formed following as a man between Kongwinya Bank and DCB Bank, Development and Commercial Bank, also known as the DNC Bank, on 1 July 1997, and later Sign Bank and Main Bank on March 9, 2007. And objective of the study. Objective from the study is for, uh, to understand how the bank industry operates, to understand the ownership structure and the public may bank and RHB bank, and the third is to determine a bank performed through a financial report by analyzing 7K ratio to assess a bank liquidity, profitability, and solvency. And the fourth is to complete and explore the results the relation between risk and the performance of banking institution. The and the last not least is to summarize financial data in understandable formats. That's all for me. Thank you, everyone. Good day, everyone. My name is Chao Hanwen. Now, I would like to present the return on equity, ROE. The rate of return to the bank shareholder is measured by ROE. It approximates the net benefit earned by investors from putting their money into the bank. 
depends on equity is equal to the net income of the tax divided by the total equity. We use the information we get to calculate the ROD for public bank, main bank, and IHP bank. And then we made a graph. The graph shows the return on equity of three banks, which are public bank, main bank, and IHP bank from the year 2016 to the year 2020. Based on the graph, the ROE of public bank increased from year 2016 to year 2017 and then decreased until year 2013. The ROE of main bank showing decreased from year 2016 to year 2017 and then increased from year 2017 to 2018 and it decreased again from year 2018 to 2020. The ROE of IHP Bank was increased from year 2016 to year 2018 and then it increased from year 2018 to 2019 and it increased again from year 2019 to 2020. Overall, Public Bank has the highest percentage of the return on equity among the three banks followed by Maybank and IHP Bank. Therefore, the investors will receive higher net benefit by investing their capital in Public Bank. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faza Aldila Niagara with metric number 282745 from group 7. I would like to explain about the return on asset for three banks in Malaysia such as a public bank, May Bank, and RHB Bank. What is a return on asset? The return on asset is largely a measure of management effectiveness. It shows how well the bank's management has converted the institution's asset into net earnings. This is the calculation of return on asset for these three banks and the formula. The formula of ROA is net income after tax divided by total assets. Next is the land graph for these three banks' return on assets performance from 2016 until 2020. Overall, the three banks' financial performance fluctuated due to various causes. The first is public bank. For this bank, the worst number of ROA was happening in 2020. The next is May Bank. The lowest number of ROA performance was in 2017. Last but not least, it is RHB Bank. For this bank, the worst return on asset performance was happening in 2016. Good day everyone, my name is Li Peying, matrix number 277184. Now I'm going to present the net interest income margin. Net interest income margin is measuring how large a spread between interest revenues and interest cost. The line graph shows net interest income margin of public bank, May Bank and RHB Bank from 2016 to 2020. Overall, the net interest income margin of three banks recorded positive figure from 2016 to 2020. And this shows that the capital use was efficient and banks operated profitability. Hi everyone, my name is Anis Hardina Binti Zainon, metric number 282901. Now, I want to present net non-interest income margin. Non-interest income margin is a financial measurement that helps assess the usefulness of revenue from non-interest items such as fee and service charge. The line graph shows that net non-interest income margin of three banks from 2016 to 2020. Overall, we can see that my bank has the best performance that only record negative value in 2017 while RHB Bank has the worst performance that record negative value in these 5 years. Although, the net non-interest income margin of public bank from, from 2018 to 2020 are presented upward. So, the negative show that the usage of capital of a bank was inefficient. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ningrum Melati Budulestari. My metric number is 2827. Thank you. Net operating margin is a non-GAAP performance measure that our management and others use to evaluate the performance of our refining operation to that of other firms in the industry. It is computed as revenue less acquired product cost. To compute or to calculate the net operating margin, we can using the formula 
which is the net operating margin is equal to EBIT or profit before tax divided by total revenue. To get the total revenue, we must calculate to sum up the operating revenue, fee and commission, interest income, net gain and losses on financial and other operating income. And here in this page, I show the calculation of three banks named the Public Bank, May Bank, and RHB Bank in the last five years represented from 2016 to 2020. The graph above shows the net operating margin of all three banks from 2016 to 2020. The highest net operating margin in public bank was recorded in the year of 2017, which is 19.60%, while the lowest was recorded in the year of 2016, which is 16.78%. The graph indicates that the bank was controlling efficiently in the year of 2017 because it has the highest net bank operating margin. Maybank recorded the highest value from 2016 to 2020, which is 20.74%, then decreased to 18.67% in the following year. The graph shows that MiBank was controlling efficiently in the year of 2019 because it has the highest net bank operating margin. Besides, Based on the graph, in 2016, RHB recorded 14.63% of net operating margin, which is the lowest from 2016 to 2020. Hello everyone, I'm Kajitra Saravan, number 277227. The graph above shows the earning per share of all three banks from 2016 to 2020. Public Bank Burhat has recorded RM 1.04, RM 1.31, RM 1.18, RM 1.22, and RM, RM 1.06 of earnings per share from the year 2016 to 2020, respectively. According to the graph, Public Bank Burhat's earnings per share for the year 2017 recorded the highest earnings per share of stock, which is RM 1.31. This means that if the company distributed every ringgit of income to its shareholders, each share would receive RM 1.31. Next, Maybank has recorded RM 0.65, RM 0.59, RM 0.67, RM 0.65, RM 0.53 of earning per share from the year 2016 to 2020 respectively. Based on the graph, Maybank's earning per share for the year 2018 recorded the highest earning per share, which is RM 0.67, while in the year 2020 recorded the lowest earning per share, which is RM 0.53. Besides, RHB has recorded RM 0.32, RM 0.36, RM 0.41, RM 0.41, and RM 0.45 earning per share from 2016 to 2020 respectively. The graph shows that in the year 2020, RHB recorded the highest earning per share, which is RM 0.45, while in the year 2016, it recorded the lowest earning per share, which is RM 0.32. In a nutshell, higher earnings per share is always better than a lower ratio because this means the company is more profitable and the company has more profits to distribute to its shareholders. Good day everyone. My name is Willin Binti Edwin. Number matrix is 277-527. I will present about the earnings spread. What is earnings spread? Earnings spread is used to measure the effectiveness of a financial firm's intermediation function in borrowing and lending money. This is the line graph shows the earnings spread for all three banks, which is Public Bank, May Bank, and RHB Bank from the year 2016 
to 2020. As shown in the line graph, the earnings spread of all three banks recorded a positive figure, and this shows that all the three banks is effective in borrowing and lending money. Based on the line graph, we can say that RHB Bank is the most effective bank in borrowing and lending money among all the three banks. Hi, my name is Aisha Amalin Binti Muhammad Zamri. And my matric number is 281840. And I will be presenting about conclusion of our task. The main objective of this study is to analyze and evaluate the financial performance of Malaysia state banks from 2016 to 2020 using the key profitability ratios. Three major banks which is Public Bank, Maybank and RHB Bank in Malaysia's comparative financial performance have been assessed and examined in terms of profitability ratio. The three banks are financially sustainable according to the report's findings because they use proper financial strategies and policies to manage their banks and respond to their dynamic and adaptable external environments resulting in a minor increase in earnings. Profitable values as assessed by return of assets, return of equity, and net interest margin fluctuated significantly across the research period, yet the public bank maintained its profitability. The key ratios in banking are the primary ratios used to assess a bank's health. In this situation, it will be considered how the bank manages to its assets to earn for profit, as well as how the bank's liquidity is monitored in order to determine the bank's health. This must constantly be done in order to determine the bank's current situation and the strategies that must be implemented in order for the bank to survive and operate for the next several years.